Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Kick your feet up as I give a recap to the HBO original series Insecure, season four, episode two, entitled Low Key Distant. This episode is definitely speeding things up. Everything's coming up next. It's Bunny. So Molly and Andrew, they talk after a nice dinner and night out on the town, and she's sharing some conversation about her brother that seems pretty personal, and she's letting him know that, wow, my brother is taking care of a child that isn't even his, and I thought that was like, wow, why would you say that to somebody you're dating, and it just shows us the patterns that Molly has this season in telling everybody's business. He gets a phone call, he takes it to the side, and she seems a little ruffled by that, and he says, hey, I'll make time for you, we can do what we need to do, and he proceeds to take her to home and give her some good D. We then see Issa and Condola. They are walking in some nice areas, and Issa is telling her, hey, this is a nice area where we can have the block party. This location is great. It's perfect. And Condola, she agrees. And they have some awkward conversation blended in between where they speak about Lawrence. And they agree that it's really, really awkward, but they're good friends, and they work well together. And it shouldn't be Lawrence that messes up their good conversation and their friendship and Issa confirms that hey he's in the past I really want to move forward and I don't want to make this awkward and Condola is appreciative of that and they continue on with their day girl talk starts to come about and we see that it is Halloween they all have on their costumes which I thought was really really cute and they're just catching up with one another and as they're having girl talk you know Tiff offers that her company can get all of her beverages and adult drinks half price. And Issa is saying, that's great. I can't believe I'm going to get a discount from you and the company. And it's just shocking that, to her that everything is looking awesome so far and everything is coming together. So Molly, she talks about her and Andrew. And she's saying that they're having a good time and he's giving her good sex. But he's having a hard time opening up. Every conversation, she's going all in and telling him stuff about her family and she doesn't want their relationship to be just about sex she really wants to get to know him she's been there done that with the whole friends with benefits thing and that's not the direction that she's trying to go but tiff and Issa, they both agree that if this is not the direction that you're trying to go with him you need to make that known if you know in your heart that you don't want a wham bam thank you ma'am that open your mouth and make it known that this is not what you're looking for so Issa is still having sex with TSA Bay, and they have those comical scenes where they're trying to figure out their best positions, but they finally figure it out. And what's also hilarious in the sex scene, he's telling her, oh, you know, touch my, my, my butt, my butt button in this, this area where he's telling her to touch. And she's just like, okay. And you know, she keeps doing it. And after they have sex and they both reach their climax and they look very very satisfied tsa bay is just like well you know i pulled out and i'm looking for the condom and the condom is not here and he's just like wait a minute what and she goes into the restroom to try to fish out the condom and she's looking at her reflection of her vagina trying to find the condom and she gets a glimpse of her reflection and the reflection in the mirror says I i'm so disappointed <laughs> and Issa looks back at the mirror and says, I know, I'm, I'm disappointed too. And she eventually finds what she's looking for. Molly finally tells Andrew that she wants to get to know him and talk to him more. And he tells her, okay, you know, we're going to have a nice dinner and we can talk. She's like, yeah, I mean, I know you got ideas and maybe you want to go to the movies, but I really want to like literally chill and talk to you. So he seems pretty open with that. As Molly is at work, she bumps into her coworker and you could t still tell that there's a little bit of tension between the two because we saw in previous uh, seasons how her co-workers really didn't get along with her it kind of changed because instead of being a team player it pushed everybody else away and he's really not adhering to her conversation and he just kind of walks off Lawrence and Condola they're having a nice lunch and 
Lawrence finds out through a little conversation that Condola's laughing at him asking for mayo that he's putting on his fries. And she says, oh, you know, when I talked to Issa, we were just laughing at the fact that you put mayo on your fries. And he feels really uncomfortable with that. And he's like, you guys are talking about me? And Condola's just like, yeah, we talked about you, but it wasn't anything deep. It was just like a little detail and we had a nice kiki about it. It's really not that serious. And you could tell that Lawrence is really, really uncomfortable. So then he goes to talk to his boys and she, he's asking their, the advice and, you know, one of them is saying, let it go. Don't let it bother you. It's really not that big of a deal. If you do mention it, you're going to look like a softie. If you think that you need to go to Issa and say something like, you know, to lay off, then you're going to look like kind of abrasive and rude. And his friend told him, look, I told you not to pee where you swim. Don't pee in your own swimming pool. I told you, you can't start this domino effect of dating girls that dating women that know each other. It's just going to be this big mess. And then things are going to go wrong between y'all. And I got to go behind your back and have sex with them. It was just a really a really comical scene and Lawrence just is like I'm just gonna think about it because it really bothers him that Condola and his ex are talking as friends little details about him so Molly meets up with Issa for a nice lunch and then she notices that Condola is there and it's this kind of awkward girl I thought it was just gonna be me and you talking like why is Condola here and it's this oh hey girl how you doing and it's this three-way hug that feels strange and Molly is just not understanding why there's somebody else there and she's just kind of trying to shoo her away like oh girl here's your purse like you know see you later and Issa is just really happening and mentioning hey you know Condola why don't you stay here and you have lunch with Molly and me and we'll talk and Condola's just like no I really don't want to intrude it's okay and Issa's just like no 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 we're all here we can talk and you know everybody's just together and Molly has this look like she's just like really I, I don't know her and she's telling Issa to the side girl I had some things that I had to tell you and I really don't know this Condola I don't want her knowing my business and Issa's just like just chill out we'll just have a nice lunch and just try to relax so instead of Molly saying how she really feels to Condola she kind of has this terrible body Body language at the table while she's sitting there. So Lawrence, which is really interesting in this next scene, he texts Issa and he goes back to the old dunes where he used to stay with Issa and he's texting her like, hey, I'm out front. So it's evident that they've talked before he came over. And when Lawrence meets up with Issa outside, he says, look, um, I know that you and Gondola are friends, but Please don't talk to Gondola about me. And I want her to learn about me from me, not somebody else. And Isha's just like, well, okay. Like, that's fine. I could understand that. And jokingly, she says, well, I can't even tell her that your first name is not Lawrence. That your first name is really Martin. And Lawrence has a little giggle about it. And he's just like, well, no, I don't even want her to learn that from you. But Issa is really, really supportive. And she's really adult about saying, okay, I won't talk to her about you anymore. So Molly tells Andrew that this date night that they're going to have is literally less talk and chill. There's not talk, chill, and sex. I really want to get to know you and talk to you more. So while having dinner, she expresses that, you know, I talk to my family. This is what my life is like. These are my friends. And he kind of, you know, just kind of standoffish and saying, oh, you know, well, that's nice. And Molly gets frustrated and says, you know, the conversations are kind of one way all the time. I'm coming off to you. I'm, I'm saying some really deep stuff about who I am. And you just don't have any depth. And he's saying, wow, just off of this one moment, this one situation. Wow, it's, it's always an, in, an issue with you. And he's kind of taken off by that. And Andrew says, you know what? I'm out of here. I'll just go to the movies by myself. So while Issa is meeting up with Condola for a night out on the town, she decides to call Lawrence and says, hey, just so I don't mess anything up, um, am I supposed to not mention that you met up with me and you said that you didn't want me to mention you again as talking to Condola or had y'all talked about that together and you just came by? I mean, what's really going on? He was just like, oh, no, it's just, no, nah, she, she doesn't know that. I just, you know, did that myself and it's really not a big deal. So she says, oh, oh, okay, well, hi. And Lawrence is like, okay, now's a good time to hang up. <laughs> it's just kind of this moment that, okay, you asked me that, and I don't want to continue any conversation with you, so bye-bye. 
Molly is left with her thoughts after Andrew leaves and she's at home alone and she's realizing that the loneliness is pretty loud. And she's trying to call Issa, but Issa's too busy having fun at a little concert. And she texts her like, girl, I can't talk to you right now. Where I am right now is just really, really loud. So I got to call you back. We then see that Lawrence, the individual, I could have his name incorrect, I'm sorry, but the, the gentleman that works with Molly, they are at a team meeting and they are reviewing some information with the, concerning a client. And Molly seems really frustrated and you can tell that something's on her mind and she wants to say something. And it's so obvious that her boss asks her if there's something she wants to add or mention. And she says, oh, no, 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 I was just looking at something on the wall that kind of looked like it was a little off. And she brushes off the information. So then her co-worker enters her office and says, hey, um, I noticed that you wanted to say something during the meeting, but you really didn't say anything. And she said, well, I noticed some details that you discussed. They're actually in another file. And he said, well, why didn't you say anything? She said, I, I didn't want to come off as negative. I didn't want to change the energy in the room. So I didn't really say anything. But I'll be more of a team player next time. And I know I haven't done that in the past, and I apologize for that, but I want to do better, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And he actually looks at her kind of confused and says, well, okay. But it's kind of this unsure okay that are you saying I'm sorry because I called you out about it? Or are you saying it's because you know you're not being a team player and you don't want to get any tr in, in any trouble? So it's this kind of uncertain uh, okay. So the final scene, Issa and Molly, they're out for a good jog. And Molly is talking about how she might have to let Andrew go. And, you know, it's just just too much. And, and Issa says, you know, I hate to cut you off, but you're always finding something wrong with somebody. You know, you get to know someone, and you're always finding something negative. And aren't you exhausted from all of that? Aren't you tired? Because I'm tired for you. And there's this silence of... You know, wow, maybe, maybe you're right. So she gets this call and she kind of goes off to the side. And Andrew calls her and apologizes for the way that he's been acting if he seems like he's distant. And he explains that it takes a lot for him to open up. Um, and it takes time for him to think about opening up again. But he's going to work on that and try to open up to her more. And that brings a smile to Molly's face. And she's really appreciative that he called and he apologized. And when they got off the phone, Issa asked her, like, oh, hey, who are you talking to? And what was interesting is Molly says, oh, it's just some stuff, you know. And Issa says, wow, you know, you're always working. So a major red flag with that because we noticed that Molly doesn't even, doesn't even want to share more details with her anymore. So Issa's just talking about random life and things. And Issa says, well, you know, I had to put TSA Bay, you know, to the side because plan B was becoming my plan A. And he already got two kids, one on the way, girl. But it was just hard for me because he was thick. And as she's talking, Molly literally, dr you know, drowns her out of her hearing. Major foreshadowing that the friendship is fizzling and there's something not right with the relationship. And that is the end of the episode. So Molly is becoming more distant, distant from Issa, but Issa is still communicating with Molly. Molly is becoming less and less interested in what Molly has, uh, what Issa has going on. Now that it seems that Issa's life and things are becoming on the right track, Molly seems... I would say like a hater, but there's our jealousy, but I really don't know what to categorize it as because it seems like everything in her life irritates her. But we do see as an audience that they are fizzling, fizzling away and they are being pulled apart as they go on different ventures. The other friends still seem pretty close, even as a mother, Tiffany's character and all of the other friends. They're still making time and dedicating time from their busy lives to connect and to share. So this dynamic between Molly and Issa is very, very interesting. And as I said in the previous review for episode one, 
that what I think what's happening with Molly's character is that she was so used to Issa being down in the dumps and her seeing like she's better off in her life than Issa. It kind of gave her this selfish boost and saying, I'm doing better than this person, person, I'm feeling better than this person, which gives this very big egotistical boost, which is very selfish. But you do have friendships like that. And what that is, is toxicity. It is turning into a toxic situation that is coming to the light but now Issa is finding other friendships to where there's a different dynamic there's business there's somebody that believes in her there is a maturity and not having beef and anger even though she's dating someone that was a previous ex so it shows this maturity level that's different from what she's used to dealing with in the past let me know what you think subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts and follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, official bun underscore E. I know this has nothing to do with the review, but my birthday was April the 18th. Aries gang, I'm so happy that I am blessed to see another year. And I think that even though I'm not a big birthday celebration person, I think it's always good to acknowledge that you have the gift of life and the opportunity to make things better. If there's anything in your life that you want to make better, and do please go please go for it because literally I know it sounds cheesy but every day is a gift it really really is it really is a present so take care and have a good week stay safe stay tuned for more movie and television show reviews and recaps until next time bye